Hi y'all, this is Tanya and today is May the 2nd of 2022 and I have on my phone the Bible app, the YouVersion Bible app and I've been using it for some years. So in 2020, I, um, cause like on this app they have something where you can like write down your prayers, okay? So I use it a few times, wrote down my prayers. And then one day, it was like, it was in September, and this was also after I had, you know, had to go turn myself in. And and this prayer was on my, on my phone, and I didn't put it on there. And this prayer is in Spanish, and I don't speak a lick of Spanish. So this is it right here. At first, I was like, what is that even? I didn't know what it said. But I, I, it's, uh, I had to Google it. Translate it, and it says, experiencing experiencing the peace of God. But when I seen it on my phone, I was like, I don't know how that got there. Because it's all in Spanish. And it didn't make any sense to me at all. And I was just shocked. So when I translated it, it says, oh, let me get it and pull it up. It says, God, my life is full of trials and difficulties. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed and distressed. However, I am grateful that you are always with me. In you, I can have peace. No matter what I face, Today I choose not to let my heart be troubled or afraid. My mind is fixed on you and I trust you. And while I do, fill me with joy and peace so that by the power of your Holy Spirit, hope abounds in me. Guard my heart and give me the strength to live a life marked by your peace. Amen. Like I said, I don't speak no Spanish. And it was just sitting on my phone. But if you can read it, this is what it this is what it says. It might not be too clear, but you know, it was in September. It said it was September twenty first of twenty twenty. And I was like, cause sometimes the Lord will like have a verse sitting on my phone for me to read. Because he had he had he had led me to start making like little slideshows for my kids, you know, explaining to them about the Bible, about Jesus, the Holy Spirit, or Jesus, how Jesus became to be, and you know, and how and about the armor God and stuff like that. And the very first day I went to do it to try to do this first slideshow with him. I had opened up my phone and it was on a specific verse and it was talking about I don't remember what it was talking about but I read it before I think it was in Matthew 24 I think I think it may have been Matthew 24 but I had read it and then because I prayed to God first I was like God please help me to be able to deliver this message to these kids for them to be able to understand. So that verse, that chapter was sitting on my, when I opened up my app, it was already on there. And I hadn't been on there previously in that book and in, the, in that specific chapter. So then when I was doing the slideshow, I realized that the slideshow that I was doing was pretty much based off of that verse, uh, based off that chapter of Matthew. And I didn't even realize it. So God works in mysterious ways. And he He helps. Because he helped me to be able to talk to my kids. To be able to deliver to them. Because you know I have teenagers. And I have. My kids got like a big age gap in between them. So I wanted to be able to deliver that message to them. For them to all be able to understand. 
because they're like, you know, different ages. My oldest is 19, my youngest are eight. So that's a difference in age. And so, yeah, just God has helped me to be able to just been helping. And then for this Spanish to be on my phone, this prayer to be in Spanish was a shock. But anyways, I want to share that with y'all because it's just amazing. Said I put it on her and I didn't do that. Because with these prayers, you got to go in there and you got to like put it in yourself. And this was sitting in the prayers. I have like 25 of them and this was sitting in there. But anyways, I want to share that with y'all because the Holy Spirit is amazing. God is amazing. King Jesus is amazing. Anyways, y'all have a good day. Hallelujah. Amen.